Yes, you're included when it comes to a $1,400 fourth stimulus check specifically focused on the low income and fixed income beneficiaries of Social Security, including retirement, disability, SSDI, survivors, SSI, VA, and RRB. I have all the details and answers to your questions and concerns right here in the video, so let's get right into it. All right, now in this video, I do want to address a common question and concern that I continue to see showing up down below in the comments section on a very regular basis from some of you right here in the community in regards to money, benefits, checks, raises to benefits, stimulus, monthly checks, universal basic income, guaranteed basic income, a $200 per month raise, and the list goes on and on. I want to focus on all of these here in this video and, of course, talk about a $1,400 fourth stimulus check in the event something like this even happens in the first place. Now, before we get any further into it, I want to throw this all out there so we're all on the same page and I think we all understand this here in the community, but I want to throw it out there anyway, just so that we have this disclaimer thrown out of the way, which is, as of right now, no, a $1,400 fourth stimulus check has not been approved. I think we all understand that, but I do want to answer the questions and concerns that I continue to see showing up down below in the comment section from many of you here in this community. Now, by the way, many of you here in this community are low income or fixed income beneficiaries receiving some of the benefits that I mentioned earlier just a second ago at the beginning of this video. And again, here's what it comes down to. And again, I think a lot of us are conditioned to feel this way, which is, are we even included in the first place? Here's the thing. How many programs have shown up over the last several years that are looking good? They are nice. They send out money. They send out checks, something like this. And then ultimately, at the end of the day, low income, fixed income beneficiaries are not included, right? We've seen a ton of these different programs showing up like this. And I think a lot of us, like I said, are conditioned to feel like, well, <laughs> by default, it seems like a lot of times we're not even included, right? So I think a lot of times anything that comes up like this, we always question, are we even on the list to receive something like this? Again, great questions and completely valid uh, concerns that many of you here in the community have and why I want to address it here in this video. So let's talk through the details about it. And like I said, as of right now, no, a stimulus check has not been approved yet, but you just never know what's going to happen here, especially with everything going on with the economy, like things are going right now at the trajectory that we're moving now. <laughs> seriously, it's only a matter of time at this point, right? But then again, we have no idea what the future is going to hold. So that's why we got to continue watching all this stuff closely. But let me talk through this really quickly. Now, again, I don't want to sit here and turn this into a 20 minute video or anything like that. I want to buzz through the details about this as quickly as possible. All right. So here's what it comes down to. In the event of another stimulus check being approved or ongoing monthly checks, checks or universal basic income or guaranteed basic income or monthly stimulus checks or something along these lines as a fixed income beneficiary or a low income individual are you going to be included the simple answer to that would be in most cases almost everybody yes would be included however there's always going to be a small portion or a small percentage of people that wouldn't be included why this seems like this happens. Well, you're right. This happened with the last three rounds of stimulus checks as well. Remember that whole thing? The vast majority of people were included, but the groups that were excluded, fixed income beneficiaries who were dependents. Do you remember that one? Yeah, that was a big you know, controversy going out at the time. There was always these people that are included, but then there's always a very small percentage of people that are not included. So again, I can't say with 100% accuracy that everybody's going to be included next time, but we have to look at history as a clue, okay? Well, obviously we don't know what the, what the future is going to hold and we don't know what kind of parameters are going to be wrapped around any type of additional money, benefits, checks, you know, monthly stimulus checks, monthly guaranteed basic income, anything like this going out. But here's one thing that I can tell you. It's always based on income. It's always based on income. Every single time that they approve one of these check programs, whether it's an ongoing check, a child tax credit, advanced payment, um, you know, monthly check programs, whatever it happens to be, a lot of different fancy names flowing around out there, basically for the exact same thing, either a one-time check program, an advanced check program, uh, monthly checks, whatever it happens to be, it's all based on income. Every single time it's based on income. The only exception to that rule would be universal basic income. Now, here's the thing. Universal basic income, great concept. It's not going to happen here in the United States. It has happened in some other countries around the globe, but it's not happening here in the United States. Not anytime soon anyway. Maybe someday it will, but as of right now, UBI, universal basic income, not happening. But when I, uh, what that simply means is that 
in the event of that program happening, which by the way, I've made dedicated videos here on the channel talking about that, that is simply an ongoing monthly check going out to everybody, okay? I've talked about it in great detail before. That type of program is not going to fly here. There's just no need for it. However, guaranteed basic income, very similar concept, but those are highly focused checks for low income and fixed income beneficiaries. Those are a real thing. In fact, there are over 100 of these programs going on all across the country right now, over that many programs. So there's a lot of them. Those are very popular, in fact. Uh, but anyway, when it comes down to it, it's always based on income, okay? So let me ask you a quick question. As a fixed income beneficiary, is your income generally below about 75 grand a year as an individual or about $150,000 a year as a married couple? Now, the reason that I'm throwing those numbers out is because based on the parameters of a lot of these programs and eligibility, it's usually around 75 grand as an individual, 150 grand as a married couple. Well, as a fixed income beneficiary, I think that most everybody's below those thresholds, okay? The only exception to that rule may be, would be this, a social security retiree receiving a massive, massive benefit on a monthly basis, plus getting other income from maybe a pension, maybe a full-time work, part-time work, something like this. In this event, this would probably be the only exception to that rule. Other than that, virtually everybody who receives a fixed income benefit is below those uh, those income thresholds, okay? Except for maybe a teeny tiny percentage of people who are receiving Social Security retirement benefits after their full retirement age, and they're also getting a massive amount of other income from things like, you know, full-time work, part-time work, pensions, you know, annuities, all kinds of stuff like that. And if that person exists out there, I would be willing to bet they're probably not watching this video. I'm just saying, okay? If you are and you fall into that category, leave a message down below. I'd love to hear from you, but I highly doubt there's many of those people out there. And if they are, they're probably sitting on a beach right now drinking some pina coladas. I'm just saying, okay? <laughs> they're not watching this video. I highly, highly doubt it, okay? So that is one exception to the rule. Other than that, virtually everybody who receives a fixed income benefit is below these numbers, okay? So when it comes down to it, again, I can't speak for Congress and I wouldn't want to speak for Congress because I don't, you know, my brain doesn't work that way, okay? <laughs> I think you guys, I think all of you here in the community know how I feel about Congress, okay? It's like a love-hate relationship. We kind of like them a little bit sometimes, but for the most part, we pretty much just don't like Congress at all because they just don't do anything. Uh, well, let me take that back. They do a few things but they don't really do anything in the best interest of the American people, especially the people who actually need assistance right now, which is low income, fixed income beneficiaries. However, let me throw this out there really fast and then I wanna wrap this video up, which is this much. We're fixed income beneficiaries and low income individuals included for the first three rounds of stimulus checks. The answer is yes. We're low income and fixed income beneficiaries eligible for all of these 100 plus guaranteed basic income programs going on all around the country. The answer is yes, in most cases, you're eligible if one of these uh, shows up in your local area, okay? These are not going out on a nationwide basis yet, but these are in local areas all across the country. Now, here's another exception to the rule that I wanna say. In your state, if your state is one of the many states that sent out stimulus checks here over the last couple of years, did your state also include fixed income beneficiaries as, uh, as an individual that can receive a check? Well, that's a gray area. In some instances, yes. In some instances, no. Okay, remember that? For example, the, the stimulus checks that went out in California, the Golden State stimulus checks, for example, in many instances did not include fixed income beneficiaries. That was a bad one, okay? Why they missed that one, I have no clue what they're thinking over there. I'm not in California. I'm not saying anything bad about California, but that rule, uh, leaving out fixed income beneficiaries, not a fan. I think many of you here in the community that live in California who did not get that Golden State stimulus check were feeling pretty uh, betrayed by that. I think many of you feel that way because I had conversation with some of you here in the community that did not get it and you felt, thought, seriously, I'm not getting this. I fall right into the, uh, into the criteria here. Anyway, long story short is what basically what I'm saying is in the event of another federally funded or federally administered stimulus check, fixed income beneficiaries were included for all three of them that we saw over the last couple of years here, 2020, uh, early 2020, late 2020, early 2021, 
all of these groups were included for these checks, okay? Now, one more thing that I wanna throw out there really fast as well. Back in May, 2009, look it up if you want to. If you don't believe me, feel free to look it up. It happened. Back in May of 2009, they passed, again, I know, 2009, long time ago, right? I get it, but I'm throwing this out as an example. They did pass uh, dedicated stimulus checks for just fixed income beneficiaries. $250 at the time, okay? That was back in 2009. That was 14 years ago, okay? Now, again, we might think $250, seriously, that's not very much. Well, you're right. It's not very much in today's dollars, but in 2009, $250, uh, $250 was probably a decent amount of money. I don't remember exactly what uh, $250 got us back then, but I can tell you this much, it's way more back then than what $250 gets you today, okay? So $250 at that time maybe could have been a reasonable amount. But today, $250 would honestly be an insult. I think many of us probably would agree with that. But at the end of the day, we'll take it, okay? <laughs> it might be an insult, but we'll gladly take it. Give me the $250, i will still be insulted, but I'll still grab the $250, you know what I mean? <laughs> I think all of us probably agree with that. Anyway, I hope this answers the questions and the concerns that I've seen down below in the comment section from some of you here in the community asking, are we going to be included in the event of another check going out? Like I said, I cannot speak for Congress. I have no clue what they're going to write up in their next, you know, th you know, 2000 page bill that maybe includes something like this in the event that the, the economy continues to go down the tubes as it is. Uh, but you just never know. OK, but I would say this much. The likelihood of something coming out and the likelihood of fixed income and low income being included is very, 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 very high because it's always income based with the small exception to the rule, which is. If you're a dependent, well, then that's a gray area. If you're a prisoner, well, then that's a gray area, okay? Seriously, there's a lot of different parameters here. Sometimes they're included, sometimes they're not. It just depends. Depends how they write the rules for that given amount of money that's being allocated, whatever it happens to be, okay? But it's always, remember this much, income-based. Generally, 75 grand as an individual, 150 as a married couple, those are usually the income thresholds. So anyway, hope that answers the questions, gives you a little bit more peace of mind. But again, right now, we just have to continue watching. But when it comes down to all of these other programs and checks and monthly checks and stimulus and ongoing monthly checks and guaranteed basic income and uh, child tax credit payments and advanced checks and all kinds of stuff like this, all of these continue to pop up uh, on a regular basis. And we continue to hear Congress talking about a lot of these things as well. So anyway, which is why I'm watching all of it very closely. And I'll bring you the details as I get more information here going forward. So please make sure to subscribe down below if you haven't done so yet. Share the video with your friends, family, social media, and go back and check out any of the other thousands of videos here on the channel. Until next time, enjoy your day, take care, and catch you again later.